I've been working in Longbridge for a couple of years now and this project came out of um, me and my collaborator Stephen Burke's observations while we're doing research and development in the area. Um, primarily that the ex-workers of Longbridge Car Factory that we were speaking to were pretty much exclusively men. So this kind of idea, this kind, there was almost like a mystery and a mystique around the women who worked there. Who were they? Um, what was it like to work there and what you'd think was supposedly a very male dominated place. And it took us a year to find five different women. Um, they're all, they've all got slightly different jobs, slightly different roles that they had in the factory. And they represent different eras as well, so there's a kind of spectrum um, of, <coughs> um, of the approach to labour throughout the history of the factory, but also the approach to women working in that very male-dominated environment. So we thought it was important to try and find these women who are aspirational characters and inspirational people um, to kind of show what this area is about and what it was and what it's still about. Um, so we interviewed them and uh, took a photographic portrait of them. And we wanted it to be a very traditional um, way of honouring their stories. Uh, so I don't normally do gallery-based shows, but it seemed particularly important to do this show in a gallery space um, to kind of play on that um, void space that the gallery provides. So there isn't a space for the voice of women in Longbridge at the moment, and we wanted to kind of... Um, create that space. We've had uh, a lot of people come into the exhibition which has been really great, lots of people who are connected with the area's history but as well as young people, with uh, students from the college coming in to see it and a lot of people have been very moved and by the stories of the women but also found it very funny and the people saying how how clearly it painted a picture of what working life was like there and, that, and those changes that happened to to the work in to work in life there so although we've done quite traditional portraits and interviews in a gallery setting and um, really i see it as a kind of social intervention as well where the whole process of finding women advertising in the local paper advertising through social media having those conversations with those women who then went on to have conversations about the project with other people and then also <coughs> having the public come in and look at the space uh, look at the stories of the women and uh, go home and talk to their friends and family. So it's really about sort of raising this issue of um, the role of women in Longbridge past and future and, and present.